as well. Um, today I'm going to try and fix up uh, a cooling system. When I drive it around like in the mornings and that would use a heater, I get like an air bubbling noise coming in. If I start up and I'll try and um, see if the camera can pick it up. So you, see, you can see over here where the heat unit is. Around here where the heater core is, you hear bubbling and stuff. As you rev the engine, the bubbles get faster. So I'll start up. I should be able to hear it. Close the door, turn the radio off. You can't hear it then it's warm, but when it's hot, I mean cold, it gets, it's all bad. So I think what that is, it's actually air inside the, um, getting into the heater core. So I'll try, um, yeah, backing this off, getting some air out, see what happens. Oh, it's some air in there, all right. Yeah, the more air I get out of it, the better actually, so, yeah. The next time I drive it, hope, when it's cold, hopefully that bubbles won't be as bad. Look at that, yeah, it's just steam now, so. Get as much of that air there as possible, when it's steam there. And also, this is mainly concerning Maddie VT93, where there's um, carbon in the power steering reservoir is falling off. Behind here, there's a little um, clip that bends in and pushes on the um, this bottom rib down here. It's supposed to, yeah, clip like it a lot and I'll show you what I mean. So yeah, this little, I don't know if they're aware of this, but this metal clip here, if you push it in, usually with your finger, like that, you push, not as hard as you possibly can, but hard enough to you see that that clip actually stays bent in. If you can see with a camera there, how far in that is, it's about a millimetre in uh, past that edge. So that's, that, um, yeah, effective enough to hold this reservoir on. If you want to take the reservoir off, just to serve as a hose, you put a screw up a bit on it and you just push back. So yeah, if it's just loose and keeps falling off, all you'll do is just push that in with your finger or a screwdriver or something that's whatever's really more effective. So as long as that clip is bent in and it stays in, this is not going to come off. So, yeah, that's the way we can fix it without um, having the plastic weld or zip tie around it. Yes, yeah. That's if the bottle's not damaged. It is, but if the bottle's got like a chip here or something, you probably have to get a new reservoir. Or you could just bend that right in as far as you can. But, yeah, depending on how bad it is, bending it in, as I said, would work. So, yeah, they've got all the steam out now, as well as the air. Hopefully now, next time I start up when it's cold, that air in the heater core shouldn't be so much of a problem. Because you can hear it flat out when you're driving and when it's cold. Yeah. All right, done. So yeah, that's probably how, yeah, that's it. You see how it actually clips in. Yeah, it's gonna come off. Firstly, that clip is what's holding it in. You just got to push it in, and it should stay in, and that's it. And that holds it bottle on, effectively. So yeah. Now, yeah, I'll put all this top bit back on now. I need to get some new um, bushes for here too. They're a bit shagged or cracked up. I've got to get some replacements. So yeah. There, get my light. That one there's all falling apart. That one there's got a big crack in it. And that one there is not too bad, but it's got a slight crack in it, but yeah, I'll probably get new ones one day. So either way, that's how you could solve the problem of your steering bottle falling off, just by pushing that clip in, and that's it. So yeah, now I shouldn't have air in my head of core. Might need to check the coolant level too. Now I've got the pressure out. I need a little bit of a top up there, if you can see. You can't really see in the camera. I'm going to get that steam pushed all that air out. Yeah. I'm a little bit low, actually. 
Go get some water. It's probably a good thing I checked that now, so. Okay, yeah. Just try and hold a lot. I came up uh, the other way. Hold a lot this hand. Okay, yep. yep. Good call it in there, which is good. Squeeze his bottom hose. Oops. Yeah, basically the lid on, squeeze the hose, and you basically got to bleed all the air out through here, as I was saying. A bit more water in. Oh, let's put the cap on. And when you're finished doing all your servicing and coil up goes, it'll be regular to wash that off for where the coil up now. Oh, there's a screwdriver. Still a bit of air in there actually, so you hear it going up the heater core thing and everything. Wash it off there. And they call it mate. Oh yeah. There's out. Try and start it up and see if we can get all that water pumped around. Oh, let's take this door, see if we can hear the heater core again. Turn the radio off. There we go, you can hear it now. Yeah, as you've ever the engine hit it, bubbles flushing through, so. Mainly only when I rev it though, so. I still got air in there that has to come out. <clears throat> still air getting in there, so there's money in this top hose here. Yeah, gets in from here, it makes its way through the block and everything. And it cools a lot, so it's running and cooling the engine a lot, so it's the only thing that here is that is a nuisance is that heater core getting bubbles in it as you're driving. It's just a nuisance. Either way. Yeah. That's my coolant check done. Yeah. And that's the advice on my um, yeah, my advice on how you could fix your power steering reservoir by bending that clip in. Okay, viewers, well, after I made that video, I did a final check, still that air in it. So what I've done, I took this top hose off, poured water in this hose, directly into it, then put it on, had that bolt loose and squeezed it till the water started coming out and there was no more air. While holding that hose, did that bolt up, let the hose go, or whatever replaced the air, it was sucked out here, sucked water in, replaced the air that was in there with coolant. So now, yeah, I did a test, showing off, all the air was out of the heater. One more try that, a little bit of air out, did it back up, fine, now. So yeah, I put a bit more coolant in here, so to compensate for that. And water, I've got plenty of coolant in this at the moment, so. Pop this bottle up of water, so if whatever air I squeezed out and it sucks, or it should suck out of here to replace it. It's like an overflow bottle and a suction bottle. Alright, that should be enough. I topped it up after the video anyway.
Anyway, yeah, basically fill it up to maximum level there. So yeah, I did it after the video, but yeah. That's how I got, so now if I squeeze this. It's a lot better than what it was. So now my heater core's not gonna bubble like crazy, so yeah. That concludes how you can get the air out of your heater core and all that sort of stuff in there. Advice on this clip here, so yeah. Thanks for watching.